We must continue the rescue. What do you think, Faithen? Agreed. But Eos has been damaged. What should we do? Officer Ching Yi, I believe it is time to use that technology, if you know what I mean. We sprung from the same stock. What need each the other fry? An AI calculating an AI. But it is a good idea. You mean that technology, right? Very well. Let's proceed. Very well. Let's proceed. Wait, you AIs. Mind explaining in human language so we can all understand? Affirmative. Translating communication into language that can be understood by humans. Using distributed computing, a portion of EOS's functions can be installed onto Officer Ching Yi's system. I still don't quite understand. Understood. I will attempt to explain EOS and Ching Yi's distributed computing technology in layman's terms. You will use sensory sync with Officer Ching Yi. By using distributed computing, you can immediately restore the ability to search the hollow as long as we can maintain stable communication. The risk of using this technology is that Officer Ching Yi will also be affected by EOS's ether corruption. Oh, but... It matters not. Maybe there's still another way, Ching Yi. Don't worry. I'm a 01NG6 criminal investigation automaton. It's my duty to save every citizen of New Eridu. I'm not such a fragile existence like humans. Isn't that right, little Bing Boo? I've granted you access to my interface, AI. Let's start the sync. Understood. Initiating sensory sync. now. Go to the secret passage and take a look. Oh, it's a shark boo. The chance of it being Teddy is...
Master, your powers of deduction know no bounds. The identity of this shark boo cannot be ascertained, but it is not Teddy. This shark boo's chassis is covered in vicious scratches from being stripped down. Non-living components will not transform into ethereals. Reminder, please do not be lulled into a false sense of security by the seemingly cute name of the Bang Boo Boo Nappers. Hmm, it's all in a day's work for a public security officer. Proxy, I suggest you turn away. I don't want your Bang Boo to see what happens next. Oh, is this a memory chip? <laughs> Criminals always say, dead men tell no tales, silencing witnesses to cover up their crimes. The data's been recovered. Access my mind space and I'll share it with you. They've used the shark bill as a switch to open up the secret passage. Enter the passcode, and then it's open sesame. Reminder, there is a 99% probability of finding clues on the Shark Boost chassis. up the secret passage. They've used the shark bill as a switch to open up the secret passage. Enter the passcode. Reminder, there is a 99% probability They've used the shark boo as a switch to open up the secret passage. I thought the kind of criminal syndicate that would take in the likes of Bing Bong would lack the intelligence to be capable of causing any serious trouble. But it appears that thought was rather naive. Although you fell victim to the shark boo's reflexive bite, fortunately, it has resulted in the discovery of the switch for the secret passage. Press it to open up the passage. Although you fell victim, there were four distorted numbers etched beneath the sticker. It's probably not the passcode for the secret passage. Is this the passcode for the secret passage? Agreed. Officer Jingyi is absolutely correct. Engaging in criminal activity with this level of intellect is vastly overconfident. We've pieced together the clues. Enter the passcode to the... You... You haven't... Mm-hmm. I remember the passcode. It's... Please note, the following information is not suitable for Bangboo. 
For the sake of Eos's well-being, I have changed dismantling to petting and vital signs to final baseline. Please forgive me for any difference in semantics. This bamboo seems to have been petted inhumanely, losing its final baseline and leaving behind nothing more than its chassis. Just like the shark boo earlier, yet another one. How inhumane. Committing crimes against Bang Boo, one after the other. Also, they can take their bodies for their own and flip them for a profit. Oh, human desire, how could you have ever become so twisted? It's completely destroyed. Let's take it out once the rescue is over. Why is this Bang Boo's face twitching like that? It's completely destroyed. Let's take it out once the rescue is over. <laughs> it's completely destroyed. Master, scans have detected a non-corrupted and conscious Avakabu. It has tried to lie down flat, but has instead been rocking back and forth by 0.5 millimeters at an incredibly high frequency. Hypothesis. The Avakabu tried to play dead, but ended up exposing itself in its state of panic. I am Officer Chingyi. You're safe now, Avakabu. Hmm? Why is it shaking even more now? Could it be that it snuck into this hollow without permission, and now it's even more panicked? It's still conscious. Hold on, I'll get you out of here soon. isn't obvious, but I've almost used up all my power. Don't worry too much about your friend, Avakabu. It'll wake up once it gets out and is all charged up. Link up to the Electraboo and read its memory chip. It's the POV of the Electraboo. Looks like we've successfully accessed its memory. Shocked its way through the door lock using high voltage. That's 
no small feat. This is deep inside the Bang Boo Boon Happer's base. It's enormous. There are the guards, just as expected. <sighs> I heard something. Huh? What's the Bang Boo doing here? Is it an escapee? Don't move! I think I just saw the silhouette of a shark boo. Let me investigate. Hang on. There was a shark boo among all those bang boo. Let me just check if it's Teddy. Teddy has a nick on his ear from when he was protecting Holly once. And there's glue on his butt that Holly stuck there when she was just a kid. It's Teddy. We did it. The corruption is starting to show now. We have to hurry! Now that we know where Teddy is, how can we get in there? We can't let any of our bank boo get away! This guy really knows how to fight. Incredible! You're not the boss my dad about this! You'll talk my pay for a month! Yeah, I'll fuck it! <laughs> oh. Nowhere to run now. Trying to squeeze your way through? Oh, why you unscrupulous little bang you? You'll never make it out. Just give up. Data's been corrupted. Go and manually recover it at the Electroboo's last known whereabouts. The Electroboo should still be mobile. If I'm not mistaken, we can follow it in, and we should run into it while it is making its escape. There's still some information missing. Keep looking for the last part. The data has been recovered. We can unlock the next memory now. This should be the Electra Boo's memory of when it was attacked. All the Shock Bing Boo have started to come too. We've beaten them silly, but they're still trying to run off! is their boss. He's both stronger and smarter than any of the thugs we've run into so far. Well, he's at least 0.73% better. Look, the gloves that 0.73% guy used to pick up the Electro Boo are completely scorched, meaning we can trace his fingerprints and uncover his true identity. Turns out that 0.73% guy is no joke. He's a fugitive suspect in three criminal investigations. No wonder he hasn't been caught. Has he been laying low in the hollows all this time? Huh. Well, seeing as you're so keen to come down to the precinct, don't blame me if I show you no mercy next time we see each other. The Electroboo converts its last remnants of strength into electricity and releases it. Bell, the entrance is over here. That's pretty much all of the info. We can head back now. The Electroboo has been a real help. Let's head over to the secret passage. Teddy should be right here. It's that 0.73% guy. Take him out, and we can rescue Teddy!
ahead. Sammy, can you hold on? I'm fine. Saving Teddy is what's important. Three strikes and you're done, right? We've already had public security's help three times now. Why don't we just skip today? You misunderstand. I'm just here to express my gratitude. You two upstanding citizens helped me investigate the missing Bing Boo case. Thank you. Teddy was repaired and I took him to Holly. It was quite moving to see them reunited. Don't worry about it. Besides, he didn't really help that much, right? Right. If it weren't for Ching Yi, then we could have easily lost Eos. Huh? What was that you were saying? Oh, I was just thinking to ask how you've recovered, Ching Yi. My body is fine, of course. After some maintenance, I'm feeling even better than before. If anything, the real headache is that Zhu Yuan and her constant nagging about how reckless we were. Zhu Yuan is probably just hoping that you will take better care of yourself. Actually, I'm not a person who doesn't look after myself. I've always known how important I am. It's just that as automatons, our views on life are quite different from those of humans. In the end, the purpose of intelligent machines is to be discarded in place of humans when danger arises. However, you could say I felt a certain weight inside the hollow this time. Huh? What do you mean by, wait, did you pick up something heavy? Well, I guess I could say that I understood the weight of life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I've been affected by humans somehow. Actually, it doesn't matter if we're talking about a Bang Boo or you, Ching Yi. We've never thought of you as something that could just be discarded in a moment of danger. Right. Both of you are important and irreplaceable partners. A friendly reminder, Master. If you are handing out compliments, then please, don't forget, Fairy. 
I suppose this is a similar feeling to what happened inside the hollow. And yet, you still haven't actually told us what happened in the hollow. If you're so curious, then perhaps you'd be interested in applying to become an assistant public security officer. Join public security? As cool as that sounds, uh, the community service work is way too... <laughs> Speaking of which, after Juyan heard the whole story, she decided to put the plan to completely abolish Internaut on hold for now. As for the local community services, unfortunately that will become a standardized project in the future. It's a real headache. By the way, I also brought the horror movies I rented for community service last time. I figured now would be the best time to return them. I felt like the scenes where someone was possessed really resonated with me. What do you mean? How would an intelligent machine empathize with that? We can't let Eos meet Jingyi. Huh? When did you get here, Eos? Uh, I mean, Bang Boo Zero One? Hello. The feeling of being possessed is indeed unbearable. But it really does seem to make you stronger, doesn't it? Yeah. 